just how do you recover from sepsis and what is it like? And I think it's gonna be different for everybody. Some of it, anytime you're sick and what recovery looks like for patients who've been sick, a lot of it has to do with how healthy were you before you got sick. You know, if you were running marathons before you got sick, it's gonna take some time for you to get back to that point again if you develop sepsis when you're in the hospital. But we also know there's a lot of people that once they've been in the ICU with sepsis, where they may have been on a ventilator, they may have had some degree of sedation as part of that hospital stay and they get better, there is a long road ahead that goes into that recovery. And we're doing things here within, there's a doctor within one of the pulmonary critical care groups who started like a post ICU or after the ICU type clinic to help take care of patients. And for us, a lot of those patients have sepsis and so they can go see somebody afterwards to talk about some of the struggles that they might be have with getting back to you know, regular life with some of their, um, phys if they have physical limitations as far as like strength and mobility, uh, even all the way down to like cognitive function and things like, uh, unfortunately people may develop uh, PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorders after you know, having been in an ICU.